back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wagwan well, well, my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life and the gathering and people. One of the past two pennies still are going. So here are going for a while. We laugh some news. A man has died and his adult daughter is receiving treatment at hospital following an early morning crash in Montego Bay, St. James. The deceased has been identified as 43-year-old Marlon Allen, a resident of Woodland in Hanover. According to a police report, the crash occurred at about 6 a.m. Reports are that Allen and his daughter were traveling on a motorcycle when upon reaching the intersection of Alice Aldemir Drive and Bog Road, they lick up right up in a one Toyota wish. Both Allen and his daughter were flung from the little piece of old bike and guess what Guan power Guan. Them rush guy them go hospital. But by the time Allen reached the gate, him kick your bucket, him dead. But wait. And him alone dead right there, 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 there. Somebody else dead. A woman has died following injuries sustained in a motor vehicle crash in St. Anne this morning. She has been identified as 30 year old Daniel Parker of a St. Catherine address. And guess what, people? She worked right out of RGD. Everybody out there, ball, 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 ball now. One month of balling. According to police report, at about 12.03 a.m., Parker was a passenger in a white Suzuki traveling in a southern direction when a tire blew, causing the driver to lose control of the vehicle. And guess what, one power, one. The car clad right up in the median, right on the middle of the road, right there, 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 so. And it flipped, and a bag of things, and guess what? Uh, she end up dead. I be a people like that on the road, you know? Them not take them time. I saw my bridging Gary talk to them. But, guess what, Guan Power Guan? Sting done, man get beat up, and a bag of things. And the Christian, I say, yo, man, look at dirty event came of a jam world. I tired of the unruly people, them, and the ungodly people, them. But guess what? Him man never shoot up a gospel concert right down in Manchester. Let me tell you how that go. Five people, including a woman, were shot in an attack at a gospel concert at a fun day event in Christiana, Manchester, Tuesday night. Head of the Manchester Police, I oh, don't know exactly how that already people them say. They mix up, you understand? And they have a case for answer to. Shane McCullough told on you see that incident happened shortly before 11 p.m. was an unprovoked and senseless act. It's an early event that is always peaceful with a fun day. The information that we have so far that two men on bike rode up minutes after 11 p.m. and opened fire indiscriminately at person standing outside the venue. Yeah, people. The man them just go so boom and ride up on them bike and just start fire. A bag, a bag, a bag, a bag, a shot. A five people get shot, you know. One end up dead still, you understand? One man end up dead. I don't have any but having picture. But I soon come back or come tell you know, where him name. So nobody worry yourself and nobody rush news. But, me can't tell you know, who dead. You understand? Me can't tell you know, who dead. Right in a rose right in a St. James Magan. Guess what I go on, pa, what I go on, man? You know, say, Ricardo and him brother kill their uncle. Remember, remember, good men really know where I go on St. James. But the St. James people, them call me and say, my view. Ricardo Rooms and Shane Samuels had them kill them on cleaner. I've got to tell you exactly. Because somebody said, oh, go. We're really going. one. Them say, yo. Ricardo and woman put on a piece of fight and Ricardo give her son like you see them my view. He man lick her here, lick her there, just a lick her everywhere. And guess what, go on, power, go on. The uncle, Bentley Vans, step in and I say, yo. Yo, can I deal with the girl like that? Make the woman go on. And he man, your uncle, kick off. You understand? Hold up him uncle and uncle, hold him up back. And that breeze off right there, 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 so. So guess what, go on, power, go on now. The uncle are going to the house and the brother see everything where I go on, you know. Tata, Ricardo, the brother see everything where I go on. Shane, and Shane take one black. I lick your uncle right in that bed, knock him out, cool, 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 cool. So the people that will live next door, take up uncle, carry him in the house, put ice on him head, and I treat him and I say, yo. Calm down, man. Everything is all right. And Uncle in the attack. And I say, yo, I'm going to do them something. I'm going to do them something. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, say, Ricardo, kick off the uncle door. I'm going to go tab him up, kill him. Go in there, go tab him up, kill him. So sit there. The uncle dead. The uncle dead, you know? It's uncle. man in business. Then. Maybe the girl that dead and uncle would dead. But the uncle try to save your life. And I him end up dead. What that tell you, say, people? I'm not telling you, say, people, I'm not leave it alone, you know? I'm not telling you that. But anyway, more news.
Six people arrested after the Kingston Eastern Police seized a 9 mm pistol with a magazine containing two 9 mm cartridges along the Bull Bay Main Road in March on Christmas Day. Report reached on news team from the Big E that police sent on the Ellison Road Police Station that about 12.37 p.m. a team of officers acting on information signaled the driver of a white Toyota Probox motor car to stop. He complied and a search of the vehicle and its occupants resulted in discovery of the firearm and ammunition in the front passenger door of the vehicle. The name of those arrested are being withheld pending further investigation. Them share the federal program. You understand? All of them. So what I said and I mean what I said you know me already. And now take it back. Up on me this bank's began. I can tell you about all the labor I forget snap away. A third one the old man was slapped with burglary and last three charges following an incident in Portland back in April 2022. He is Jovin Miller, otherwise called Dummy, a laborer of Mavis Bank in St. Andrew. Report with your news team from the Oak Bay Police that about 12.40 a.m. on April 30, 2022, a man was at his home when he saw Miller removing a door jam to his bedroom. Miller entered the house, searched the bedroom and ran when he saw the owner of the house. Then he went there. You could have found off him head. You could have run him down and found off him head. So we never have to read about him now. I found him, should have found off him head. A woman who occupies the other bedroom of the house later reportedly discovered that Jamaican, Canadian and U.S. currency were missing from her purse. A report was made to the police and Miller was subsequently arrested. He was charged after he was questioned in the presence of his attorney. So boy, I should have made concrete. So what I said, I mean what I said. I had to me already. I now take you back. Hold on there now. People who can't listen to me, I'm talk, man. Take on the time on the road, the man. Two days left for the year done. I beg you no please. Now when I come about, I come tell nobody about you know. I understand take on the time on the road on the need for your speed on the need for your rush for go no way at all but if you don't want to me maybe just maybe on the way listen to Gary it is very important that as we enjoy ourselves throughout this season that we are mindful that we have to take personal responsibility we must ensure that we drive according to the rules of the road the police are out there in their numbers and we are trying our best to ensure that we are visible, to ensure that we occupy highways, main roads and townships, to ensure that persons travel from one place to another safely. However, it makes no sense that as a police checkpoint is passed, that drivers speed up because this spells danger. One of the things that we have noted is that a number of drivers have been tested and have proven to be driving with excess alcohol on their breath. We have also per noticed that persons are driving and are not keeping in their lanes, meaning that they are not driving to the left of the road, are driving to the right, and in some instances, it has resulted in traffic crashes. It is very important that as we go through this season towards the end of the year, that we are very careful on the roadways. If you are very tired after going to entertainment events, please try and stop at a police station, get some rest before you move along. We can't afford to lose any more persons before the end of this year. It is very important that as we enjoy ourselves throughout this season that we are mindful that we have to take personal responsibility. We must ensure that we drive according to the rules of the road. The police are out there in their numbers and we are trying our best to ensure that we are visible, to ensure that we occupy highways, main roads and townships, to ensure that persons travel from one place to another safely. However, it makes no sense that as a police checkpoint is passed that drivers speed up because this spells danger. One of the things that we have noted is that a number of drivers have been tested and have proven to be driving with excess alcohol on their breath. We have also per noticed that persons are driving and are not keeping in their lanes meaning that they are not driving to the left of the road, are driving to the right, and in some instances, it has resulted in traffic crashes. It is very important that as we go through this season towards the end of the year, that we are very careful on the roadways. 
you are very tired after going to entertainment events please try and stop at a police station get some rest before you move along we can't afford to lose any more persons before the end of this year he that have ears to hear, let them hear. Anyway, now people, watch your one power and go. We never them about them time, yeah, you know. But them and use are the one. And guess what? They have an update for now. Them can't run, but them can't hide. Five years after a 31 year old Tamala Thomas was stabbed to death at Upper Oxford Street in Kingston 14, a 50 year old man of the same address has been charged with murder. He is Omar Burford, otherwise called Guns. Some people call him Gunners too. The police said Burford was arrested overseas and deported on December 21st. He was handed over to law enforcement authorities and charged with murder on Christmas Day. The bag of plate, 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 and I tell people where you're going to take up when Christmas Day come. You never get to take up one plate. What prison food, boy? Report reaching on news team and then I'm told police that on September 2018, Thomas and Burford were at Upper Oxford Street address when an argument developed between them. The argument reported escalated and became physical. During the tussle, a knife was used to inflict stab wound to Thomas' head and neck. Yes, people. Thomas was taken to the hospital. Dead, dead, dead. But guess what, God, power, God. They make sure they carry him back over Jamaica. He served, he said, let's see, I understand. Serve him right off and no should have half it, man. Hold on, then now. Then people, me know me if you get to tell you this. Say, you know, say the man then beat some shot off at the police then Christmas Day. Yeah, right out of East Street, right out there, 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 so. And the only reason to make the police them alive right now is because the Taros drop. They say if the Taros never drop, and the youth they continue to beat it, beat it, beat it. All when he may run. Couple police, well, with a dead. So right now, the police them claim, say, Man hunt and them a look for who did a shoot off of them. But me and them know say them not see a way no. Cause remember say I them did a hide. Anyway no, watch ya. Come like a piece of money run. You understand? A man who was facing multiple charges ranging from rape to abduction in the Supreme Court was freed recently when the complainant made critical changes to her testimony. Wilbert Bins was free of charges of rape, forcible abduction, robbery aggravation, and assault while occasionally harm. It is alleged that in 2018, Bins abducted the complainant, dragged her into bushes, physically assaulted her, raped and stole one of two cell phones that she had and $300. Yes, people. Him take three bills somewhere. You understand? A court report the complainant phoned some of her relatives and told them what had happened. Just no say them near the ball with her. So her family tell her, say, here we are do. They say, look, extra bills over there. They tell her, say, hide in the Hebrews here. Take it out and go up by station go report it. And that she do. You understand? But guess what? Go on, power, go on now. On cross-examination, she made key changes to her testimony, including how she knew the accused which caused the jury to disagree her testimony and render a not guilty verdict. Me tell you no, a piece of money never they run, you understand? So I so come she and her family them say, yo, go up a station, go say, rip you, rip you. Nothing there go, sir. Nothing there go, sir. Holy but woman, I say, yo, man, rip because man no give them the money, you know, because member, member, go them say free for career. So I want some give you some of the rankers you're supposed to pay for it. That's what them say, no. That's what them say. But anyway, more news. Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend, and remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for him. What good?